This is on a Nexus 7 tablet running Octoprint. No connection to the computer. The Raspberry Pi inside is doing the job. Where's the Raspberry Pi? There's the Raspberry Pi over there on the side. So, I definitely need a, sp need a spool reel. Get this all tidied up. So this was started from Octopi on my tablet and it, I think it's just gonna run through just the way it's supposed to wirelessly fan shroud 40 millimeters February 13th slice number one G code menus that we have here are uh, like this Let's see. Got a temperature menu. So that's alive. Got a control menu. Um, the G code viewer. Um, I haven't even gone to the terminal or the time lapse. But for the control, I haven't messed with anything here either. I think we could turn the flow rate down just a little bit. That's a nice feature. Um, and I think that there, I saw a pause button around somewhere. I know we can momentarily pause it somehow here. Oh, there it is right there, duh. You wouldn't want to do it though too often or long because this is what you get. You're going to have a blob, and that blob could hang up the uh, nozzle on the next pass. So, I'm showing it to you guys because it's something that you don't want to have happen. We'll know if it's going to hang up as soon as that hot end passes by the next time. If the hot plate was running at a higher temperature, the plastic would be a little softer. It goes soft at about 50 C, so then if it were to run by it at 55c it would be very jelly-like and it could just pull it through instead of snag it and skip a step. So here we go. We'll know if it's going to snag right now. It should snag. I'm not too worried about it. I've already got two of these printed out. But in some emergency, at least there is a, a, um, a pause and a resume button.
What is it running pretty strong? That was that click was it going by that piece of plastic? A lump. There's a fair bit of power there. I finally lubed the axes today, so they even are running smoother. And there we go, it's cleaned off. The lump is not a problem and it hasn't skipped a step. Probably though because it was so close to the hot plate, so it was still quite hot. If it was higher up, it may probably have uh, been a problem. The printer is very rigid though, so it is producing very, very fine edge edges and faces. Hi, Duke. <laughs> hey, boy. So you guys do realize that this thing is working way, way nicer than the one at school, right? The one at school is a beautiful printing little machine, so so you guys are going to have a really nice, nice printer. Don't forget I'm using Pronder Face and Slicer right now. I can't figure Kira out to work as nice as Slicer with the options that I'm used to. And maybe I'll just pause this now come back to it in a little bit. I wonder where the percent counter is. Oh, there it is. Time left. It says it's 12 minutes. I don't think it should be that long. Oh, I see. No, no, no. It's 12, 41, 45 out of 15, so we've got three minutes to go. Might as well just let it run. <laughs> <laughs> 